So similar to our last problem, we've got, we'll just hi highlight all the forces, 100 kips down, 50 kips up, and 3 kips to the left. And our distances are 5, 10, and 5. And so that we have units of distance, we'll say all these are in feet. Okay. So that means we're going to have three equations of static. Sum of forces in the x is 0. Sum of forces in the y is 0. And sum of moments. I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to again pick point A. Actually, I'll pick point B this time, just so you can see how things are different. So my sum of forces in the x is super easy. We've got rax to the right minus 3 kips equals 0. Or rax equals 3 kips because we had to add 3 to both sides. Because it's positive, that means our assumed direction to the right is correct. Okay. Now I'm going to skip to my moment equation because I can see I have two unknown vertical y's and so I won't be able to get anything right away on that. So I'm summing my moments this time at point B equal to zero. So I'm going to kind of redraw this. This is my rotation point B. And so that means when I have this 50 going up, it's going to cause rotation like that. When I have this 100 going down, it's going to cause counterclockwise rotation. So this would be positive. This would be negative. And this reaction, the way it's drawn, would be positive. But there's still this 3 kip force up here. And it's acting perpendicular to the beam. So we're going to just draw a body diagram about that. We've got a perpendicular here, three kips here. This is four feet. So it's causing rotation in that direction. Well, if I have rotation in that direction, that is counterclockwise or minus. And the magnitude is three kips, four feet, a negative 12 kip feet of rotation like that. So I'm just going to add it on here. Doesn't matter where I put it. Negative 12 kip feet. So now we'll have an equation that deals with all of this. We've got 50 times 5. We have 12. We have this 100. Its distance is 5 plus 10 or 15 feet. And then this last one, RAY, times its distance 5, 10, 15, 20. And now we'll get all the signs. This is plus. This one's minus. The 12 is minus. And the 50 times 5, let's see, that's 250. That's plus. All equals 0. That means RAY times 20 equals 1,262. We'll divide both sides by that 20. So we have 63.1 kips. A positive answer means our assumed direction of up is correct. So now we have everything except this RBY. So we'll use the last equation of statics we haven't used. Some of the forces in the Y equals 0. So we've got negative 100 because it's coming down. Positive 50 going up. Positive 63.1 going up plus RBY. 
y equals 0. When we solve this out, we get RBY equals 13.1 kips. It's quite a bit smaller than the other one, so let's just make sure it passes the smell test. 13.1 over here, 63 over here. But that makes intuitive sense to me because the 100 is closer to the 63 and the 50 is actually going up, reducing this 13.1. So that makes a lot of sense to me. I think we've done this correct.